Are you a home cockpit builder and tired of the artificial roll and head tilt that the sim adds to the virtual cockpit? Maybe you're just tired of this effect altogether. Well, I think I found a workaround or fix to kind of stop this effect. Stick around and let me show you how I did it. So just a quick explanation of what this effect is. It's basically this artificial roll or tilt that happens um, to the airframe uh, in the virtual cockpit as you're flying. So if you kind of bank aggressively or you're getting hit by turbulence, you'll see the actual aircraft moving around on screen instead of kind of staying uh, stuck to the field of view that you're looking at or the, uh, the viewpoint that you're looking at. Now there is a head shake option within Microsoft Flight Simulator. I've had it turned off pretty much since I've had the sim uh, and seems to have no bearing on this effect whatsoever. So I found this feature to be uh, kind of annoying in both monitor mode and in the home sim here. Um, you know, during climb out in monitor mode, if you're trying to change autopilot settings or tune a radio, um, it could be quite annoying if you're in turbulence because the airframe's kind of bouncing around and making it hard to uh, hit all the click spots. Now, the bigger thing that I find more annoying is here in the home cockpit. So basically the way I have my viewpoint set up here in the, uh, in the home cockpit is I basically have the view of the airframe in sim in line with the top of my instrument panel, um, my physical instrument panel. So basically what I see is it almost kind of gives like an extended view forward um, over the top of my instrument panel lining up with the instrument panel in the sim. Now the problem with that is any kind of rolling effect or turbulence um, kind of disrupts that view for me and it gets distracting honestly. Um, the airframe or the aircraft is bouncing around in the sim, but obviously my physical panel is not moving. So depending on the weather conditions, it could be not only immersion breaking, but distracting as well. So that's basically what the effect is, and uh, let's talk about how to disable it. So there's basically two ways of doing this. Um, there's the easy way, which you don't even have to restart the sim if you're already in it. And then there's the semi-permanent way, which you can quickly recall the, uh, these new camera angles or camera viewpoints that you set. So for the easiest way to disable this effect, simply load up in your favorite aircraft, open up the camera controls, scroll down to the instrument list, and select any instrument view. Now you can use your keyboard and mouse to reposition the camera where you'd like, and go fly. It's as simple as that. The reason this works is because the instrument views all have the camera movements disabled. Now I'm guessing this is just due to the fact that they created them uh, for you to be able to interact with the aircraft controls without the instruments moving about. Now the only drawback, if you could even call it that, is there's no way to overwrite, at least that I know of, um, and if you do, uh, please let me know in the comments below, um, but there's no way to overwrite the instrument views from within the sim like you can do with the custom cameras. So what I did to make my custom no shake camera views was this. First, I created a custom camera view just as you normally would, including any zooms. For me, it's control alt and then one of the numbers along the top of your keyboard. Once you do this, it creates your custom camera file in the following directory. Next, we'll open up the stock camera config file for that aircraft. If it's not a stock aircraft, it'll be in your community folder or wherever that aircraft uh, mod was installed and linked to. Um, if it's an official one, it'll be in your one store sim objects airplanes directory. Then you can find the aircraft you're looking for and then within that, the camera's config file. So now just a quick disclaimer here, we are editing the stock uh, official Asobo camera files. Um, so please make backups mainly for two reasons. One, if there's a sim update, um, that's going to most likely overwrite those files and then you're going to lose all this work that you just did. Uh, and for two, if you ever need to reinstall the sim. Also, if you actually use any of these custom instrument views, um, at least whatever ones you select here will be overwritten, so keep that in mind as well. First, we need to open the custom camera file for the aircraft that you want to set up. Look for the values for initial zoom uh, and initial XYZ and initial PBH. What we're gonna do is copy these settings and then paste them into the respective lines in the stock camera config file for the instrument specific view you'd like to overwrite. I chose the first instrument view as it's the easiest one to recall. I just have to press control and the number one on the keyboard and it brings me right to that view. Once the values are updated, save the file and start the sim. Once the sim is loaded, all you have to do to recall that view, like I said before, just control and one and it'll bring you right to that view. Now you'll basically have a copy of your original saved custom camera but all without the shake. Unfortunately, this is a bit of work depending on how many aircraft you want to do this to, uh, but once you've done it once, you keep a copy of, uh, or a backup rather, of all your camera config files, and then in case there's a sim update or a reinstall, you just paste them right back in the directory. All right, that's 
pretty much all that's needed here to get this up and running. If this video helped you out or you have a different workaround, let me know in the comments below. And maybe hit the like button so that way the YouTube algorithm gods move this video along to maybe help somebody else out. Thanks for watching, be well, and fly safe.